Anti-corruption campaigners in Nigeria are alarmed about sextortion as a form of corruption that severely affects women, girls and vulnerable individuals across the world. Speaking at a movie screening in Abuja on Tokam, a human rights reporting mobile application and information hub on human trafficking and gender-based violence, the executive director of Devatop Center for Africa Development, Joseph Osigwe, explains that sextortion isn't just a criminal offense but also a sexual abuse, hence a human rights violation which mustn't be allowed to thrive. Other campaigners against the societal ill believes that with aggressive awareness and sensitization campaigns, the menace would be reduced or entirely eradicated. They can always report with the Tokam app. I wonder if with Tokam app, they will to work with SnapTip to support them and to arrest the perpetrator. And for us, we feel that the fight against extortion is a collective effort. Everybody has to work together to fight extortion. And then it's also good for us to understand that now perpetrators are using online platform to perpetrate their act. It's easier for them to use online to traffic young people, to get some images from them and use it to collect money from them. So we want to make sure that we engage young people to understand what they can do if they face this situation. Recently, Napti, uh, a girl came to Napti and was on the verge of committing suicide because the ex-boyfriend is threatening her, you know, about exposing her nude pictures. Probably she gave him when they were having some ecstasy. And as a matter of fact, the guy exposed the picture. But it was at the point the guy threatened to also show the picture to the parents that the girl was on the verge of committing suicide and she ran to Napti and eventually the boy was apprehended. So sextortion is real. And traffickers these days, they operate online as well as they operate offline. So people should be very careful. And not just sensitizing them, but also sensitizing them about the importance of speaking out. Realizing that there are people, there are government agencies, there are partners, development partners that are able to help them. Sensitize them on how to report when they are faced with those issues. And then for our government agencies that have the mandates of, of, um, of things like this, also for them to take up these issues very, very seriously, in, carry out investigation and ensure that people are persecuted.